How goes it everybody? My name is Howitzer and welcome back to SnowRunner. Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button as well. Click on that little bell too. Today I got another little vehicle to show you. So let's just get to it. The Workhorse T880. Timothy brings us this one. Nice name by the way. Now this one came out uh, like a few weeks ago. <laughs> and I just kind of glanced over it. But somebody suggested it. So I figured I'd make a video of it anyway. Screw it. Let's go see what we can do to it. All right, for engines, looks like we got the X12, the X15, and the ISX15. That's the OP one. All right, let's do that one. Gearbox, we have stock, tuned, and upgraded. Yeah, upgraded. Suspension, well, I guess tuned is all you can do. Tires, oh, just a little selection of tires for once. We'll do this 53-inch mud tire four, which is another OP tire. Yeah, let's do that one. Winch, we got light duty. Medium duty and heavy duty. Heavy duty it is. I think you could put some spare wheels on it, either on driver's side or passenger side. I don't really screw around with that. Snorkel. Yep. Frame add-ons. Well, it kind of looks like your regular add-ons. This cabin protector it gives you some fuel and some repair parts. Log carriers, flatbeds. I mean, pretty much everything you'd want. You got the ramp towing platform, headache rack which gives you repair parts and fuel as well. Uh, loading cranes, saddle high, saddle low. Got the sleeper box. That's pretty cool. Another uh, ramp towing platform. Huh. Put toolboxes on each side if you want. Got the rollback. But I think for now, we're just gonna put the flatbed on it. Just for now. I think we'll pull a trailer with it later. Uh, rooftop, we got a light bar. We got the beacons. Flasher bar, fog lights, LED fog lights. Let's do the LED fog lights. You can put stickers on it, the workhorse sticker. On the back, put on the steering wheel too. I'll, I'll leave that alone. We got rear fenders, got quarter fenders, half fenders, full fenders, and just mud flaps. I'll actually do the chrome quarter fenders. Sure. Front bumper. Like you got bumper one, bumper two, got a weighted bumper, and a really weighted bumper. Yeah, I, I think I'll put that bumper on when I will pull a trailer with it. Let's put this bumper on for now. Looks kind of cool. It's like miscellaneous. You got an energy drink you can put in there. You got the CB antenna, fender flares. You know, let's put the fender flares on it. Screw it. You got chrome park lights on the roof. Factory park lights. That heat shield around the exhaust. I'll do that. You got the logo on the grill there. You can put a little caged beacon on it if you want. A little two square beacons. The visor. You can put three square beacons on it. Well, I'll leave some of that alone. You can change the exhaust. The exhaust kind of, was it? Oh yeah, it just turns down there. So it kind of makes the uh, heat shields pretty useless. I'll just leave that alone too. For colors, looks like you got the... This is a custom one. I might actually use that one, red, white, and blue one. Got this green. Oof. That's an obnoxious green, all right. I think just got some other colors, I guess. Some pretty fancy colors. Let's do that red, white, and blue one, though. Kind of makes it a little different. Now, of course, you got bobbleheads and other accessories, too. Let's go see how this thing does, though. This thing's kind of interesting, according to, this, to the description. I mean, it looks pretty good. Looks like an in-game truck, really. All right, now with this truck, you can change the suspension. That just drops the tag axle. And then all-wheel drive, it'll actually drive that tag axle. Which is kind of cool, because usually it's just there. And it just usually just gets in the way. Of course, you can pull your regular trailers with it. We'll do that later, though. I'm really curious to see how this thing does in the mud. Oh, boy. She gets a little... She gets a little rowdy. Oh, this thing blows smoke like no tomorrow. I can't even see. Take her down to the little mud pit here. 
It certainly acts like an in-game truck through here. Oh, no, never mind. This thing's doing all right. Yeah, it did that pretty well. I like how he kept it a dually in the ass end. Makes the truck a little more stable. Take her down to Swampy Town. Ride in seventh gear. I mean, it's doing fairly well through here, too. Way too much wheel speed, though. Let's see what happens when we drop it in low. Oh, okay. Once it drops back in the first, it it takes off pretty good. For a big old truck, though, it's it's doing this okay. Compared to like regular in-game trucks, this thing is doing phenomenal. Regular in-game trucks struggle so hard going through here. It's it's crazy. Drop it in low once. Low, it just crawls through it. Yeah, this thing's doing actually really well. Better than most, I'll say. Get into the deep part here. Let's see how it does in the deep water. Well, it's making its way through. Not too bad. Yeah, this thing isn't doing terrible. I think that that drivable tag axle helps. Just a wee bit. She gets going pretty good in ninth, tenth gear. I'll let her drop back down in the first, and then it just pretty much just crawls through it. Huh. Huh. That didn't do that too bad. All right, let's go do some other stuff. Yeah, she gets pretty fast, actually. Oh, no, no! Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. We'll take her up here. Oh boy. <laughs> it is not made to do this. Oh, that bumper's gonna hold me up. Oh. Get your big ass up there. There we go. Yeah. That's what I thought. Let's see if we can get up there. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh my god. It did it. Oh. <laughs> well, it didn't do it the way that I wanted it to, but it did it nonetheless. <laughs> oh my god. Uh-oh. Am I stuck inside the tree? Nope. I did not expect it to do that at all. I'll take her up over here once. This is a big damn truck. This thing is long. Turn this big bastard around. Oh my goodness. I don't think it's gonna do this. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> but this part. Uh, Yeehaw. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I have seen weirder things, I guess. I bet if you tried hard enough, you could probably get it up that side. It should do this, though.
All right. Ooh. Oh, I just screwed up my suspension. Damn it. Ooh, they stick her in high and she gets a little fast. I wonder if I can get this thing going fast enough. Oh, well, I guess never mind. <laughs> Do over. I wonder if I can get her going fast enough. Really get her going. No! <laughs> oh, God. I took out that tree, though. Ruin my gas tank and the suspension again. <laughs> it's an okay jumper. Let's go pull a trailer now. All right. I got the weighted bumper on. I got saddle high on. Let's grab this trailer because this one did really, really good last time. I really like it. I'll grab the Brigadier again. I kind of like the Brigadier anyway. Let's pack it. Put up the ramps. Let's go see how this thing does. This thing does make quite a bit of power. We're really going to put it to the test, though. We'll take it up the little trail over here. Hopefully that weighted bumper will keep that front end off the, on the ground, I should say. Well, it didn't like high. Which is a little weird. Uh-oh. There we go. Even with all those tires, it's still spinning. Oh, don't stop now. Keep going. There we go. Oh, shifted gears. There's second gear. Oh, back down to first. Damn. Well, I'd say it did that pretty well. Let me take it through the little whoops here. Yeah. Bomb shift back in the first. Doing pretty good. Oh, the nose dive. Yep, I knew it was going to do it again. Oh, my PS4 is trying very hard. <laughs> back in the first. Well, this thing isn't doing terrible. I mean, I definitely don't know how much, like, the Brigadier weighs or anything like that, but I know it's not, like, the smallest truck ever. It's got to weigh more than the, than the C70, right? I think we should try and bring it up the hill. I don't know if it's going to do it, though. The son of a bitch is steep. If I could make the turn. Oh, I made the turn. I'll make it up, though. That's a lot. That's a lot of weight to pull up that hill. I can keep the front end on the ground. Oh, it's so close. Nope, I think I boned it. Now I gotta try and get the truck back in line here.
All right, let's. I gotta try and turn this trailer around. Shit. Oh, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> but I did it. All right, we're gonna say fuck it and bring it down the hill. a Cadillac. Well, I mean, this thing isn't terrible. It's pretty decent. It's pretty capable. From what I've seen so far, I would have figured this one would have been a lot more popular than what it is. Apparently not. I don't know why. I almost guarantee a lot of people just don't even try them out. Pretty much like I did. Take her through this little puddle here. Oh, it held eighth gear through that. Surprisingly. Wow. That's like not too shabby. Ah. I've seen all I need to see. Well, that was the workhorse T880. I, I gotta say, it's not too bad. It's definitely a workhorse. It can pull quite a bit. And not a bad truck here. Another decent rig that just isn't as popular as what it should be. Which is unfortunate. But go try it out. Give it a shot. Maybe you'll like it. I don't mind it. I think it's pretty decent. Good job with this one. Not too bad. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.